Hello and welcome everybody. We are here, St. Joe's versus Paso Robles in Paso. Gonna be the start of the season for the St. Joseph Knights kicking off their season. First league, first league game for uh, of the season for uh, the Knights. Yes sir, it is a couple of dubs that we're coming off of from the freshman team. We're coming off from the, the JV squad. So Saw David with his JV squad. How'd how how how'd you see your frustrating, frustrating to say the least. But uh, yeah, we were able to to win, and so hopefully we can get a sweep with all three levels here tonight. I mean, I didn't think I was watching the same game. I mean, the score didn't even match up with what what was going on. I mean, it looked like there was like a lot of like effort, lack of effort, lack of lack of focus from your guys. Yeah, at I least mean, from what I saw. I don't know if it's finals week and they're being at home all day and a little, a little lazy but yeah we got the job done and we play again on Friday and Saturday. And Will is able to kick off the season right there with a little runner on the right side Will Kirkendall. And yeah, so it's the normal starters for the Knights. Will, Luis, Elijah, Tunde, and Dre. Can't get that one to go. Tunde controlled on the boards. Yes, sir. The same five for the Knights for rolling. Will's able to kick it right back to Elijah up top. Boom. And the Bear Bearcats in a little bit of a zone right here, 2 3 zone. Yeah, I really can't match up against St. Joe's match physically. You can look at a tune day. Getting, getting the reactions from the crowd already. He's able to put that one back. Tune day. Yeah, it looks like St. Joe's going to match up in a, in a man. I mean, St. Joe's. I mean, they're going to be expected to kind of run this, run this league. But as they're going through this league, what do you what do you expect to see see throughout the league play? I mean, they have to they have to get better each day. Um, every time they ha they step on the court, they have to get better um, to gear up for the the tough games to come, like Sierra Canyon and going to Vegas, have a tournament in Vegas, and then Alaska. So each game has to be. Um, a chance to get better. They never want to settle to be mediocre. They always want to be the best, okay, and make other teams play up to them. They don't want to play down to the competition. So they set the standard in the league, um, always have targets on their back. And so far they've uh, lived up to that expectation. But like I said, they never want to get complacent. They always want to get better. It's a foul called right there, right back to Paso. Yeah, you're not. You're probably not going to see a lot of a lot of subs. You're probably going to see the same starting five, even if there's a a blowout lead, or if they're really controlling the game, it's Tunde can't get that one up. 
Yeah, you're you're, you're always going to see St. Joe's giving 100, trying to give 100%. Tunde getting on the breakaway. Yes, sir. Tunde athletic finish with the slam. Early yeah. reactions from the crowd. Getting the away crowd hyped with that dunk, as always, is Tunde. I was talking about it earlier. They might break one of these rims. They're kind of old. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Maybe, maybe. Two dunks on the night. Uh, yeah, we got we to make sure to keep track of the, the dunks. Or is that only in at St. Joe's house? Is that no, only at the house? It's everything. Yes, sir. Tune day on the breakaway. The tune day. Tune day. Tune day with the windmill. You got to call it 30. He For said, give me a 30. Forces an early timeout by the Bearcats coach. Cheese and rice. Tune for those, day. For those of you at home that cannot see that dunk, you'll have to wait till the... The game footage is posted, but once again, it's the nice Please defense that's, that's leading to easy buckets for the Knights. That just goes to show you that's what the Knights want to do in these uh, these type of situations. They want to push the ball. They want to be able to have fun, show their athletic play. Tune day with the breakaway. Gosh. As they break out to an early eight-point lead, 542, early in the first. There's already a little chirping going on in the in the gym. It's starting to fill up right here. Yeah, the Knights go into a full court press. Yeah, like I said earlier, they're not going to want to let up or anything. They're going to want to push the ball, get this get this lead going, break it out, being able to open up the floor. As Dre's going to be at the top of the press right here with Elijah on the right. Dre pushing up the issue. Paso though, we're gonna see we're gonna see what they they have to offer offensively as well as defensively. Don't really see too too much of a height height advantage for Paso, maybe a disadvantage for them. But you never know, they may be able to match up physically against this athletic St. Joseph team as Dre able to break out. Get the steal. Dre. Yes sir. Clean. Dre. For the Dre. Dunk City is in full effect here at Bearcats Gym. Keep those tallies. I feel like Will's gonna get one too. Will, Will's breaking out one right here. He's been he's been he's been edging on one for a couple of games. Yeah, one big thing I just noticed is uh, out of that dead ball, Dre's immediately talking to his teammates, getting getting them set up in the defense uh, for the baseline out of bounds. And that's one big uh, progression that I feel that Dre has uh, incorporated into his game as he, uh, his high school career is end of this year, so. Uh, no, yeah, d definitely. He pretty much went from a non-speaking player to being able to talk out there and lead the floor and being able to show that he can gather a team is Elijah. And that's that's how they're able to to break out into these leads on, against these teams. Is, Doing the simple things of talking and, and shifting and and uh, one interesting thing that Coach Davis, the assistant coach for the Knights, was talking about is maintaining Great. the conversation. Steal as we hear see a dunk. Open is Easy. maintaining the conversation. They want the kids to to transition from outside the gym talking <laughs> to inside the the gym. They don't want it to talk. It's the the conversation. Will might change. come on. Will give me one. Give me one. Will. Yes, sir. Will the conversation subjects will change, but the, uh, the ability to talk does not change. And one, yes, that's an and one. That is a terrible call. That is a continuation play. That's an and one. Yeah, so that's for terrible. Fortunately for the Bearcats, the the Knights will take the ball out underneath their hoop. No, yeah, like you said, the, the continuing the conversation. Yeah, it's important. Right off the back, ah, he wasn't able to get that one. Smart play. We saw Steven Vasquez do that a couple times last year. He wanted to try it out as himself, unsuccessful. It's, 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 I mean, it works if you do it right. Yes, sir, Will. Give me one more. Yes, sir, Will. Yes, sir, Will. One-hand jam for the man. He's able to break out to a 16-point lead. The Knights. For Dre, 
Everybody's getting a touch right here. Nice touch assist by Tunde. I think it was unintentional, but taps it right to Dre. Doesn't really matter as long as I get the twos. We're going to see some more subs with Randy going to be checking in. We saw David check into the game right here. Looks like Dre's going to come out as long as Will and Tunde. Yeah, so checking in the game is Caden Hamilton and Randy Rocket. Caden getting some early minutes. It's a nice jump up to an 18 point lead. Caden getting a little touch in the post. Dre inside. Oh, and just loses it right there. Got a bear hug him right there. Randy. Go, oh, come here, come here, come here. That's right. Yes, sir. Bang out. Bang, bang. Yeah, the Knights are making this. <laughs> this rim looked like it's five feet tall. I mean, geez, it's taking a beating already. We're almost at six dunks. So leaking out. They're just trying to, ah, oh, they're just bad pass by Caden. Just trying to hit Luis on the rim run. Rebound control. Oh, that's a bad call. Just going to stay here to Paso. Dre Ramon not grabbing that ball with two hands. As the Paso coach calls out a play. Edging his players on to keep into this game. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Uh, no call. There you go. You got to call something. There Great job by Dre Ramon. Getting, you to the, getting to that spot early and waiting for that offensive player. Elijah checks back in. Randy. Look at he goes from like 0 to 100 really quickly. Ah. He just puts on the little burner. Dre in the corner. Gonna look inside probably to Caden. Back up top he dribbles. Dre, pull it. Nah. Elijah. He's getting trapped right there. Back up to Randy. He's got 16. Dre in the corner to Caden. Zebo. Give me one. Ah, they're gonna get a bailout right here. Fresh. They get a fresh shot clock. Yes, Chavo. That's bull. That's BS. Every foul is a new shot clock, Chavo. That is BS. Well, now Chavo. We get, you know how the yeah. okay. We're, Wait, I, it's I, not 2K, man. <laughs> you, get a, you get a full set. You get a full shot clock. That's a, such a bailout. Wow. It's your freshman coach right here, by the way. That is such a bailout. It's a whole. Hey, you gotta control the controllable. You get two. Chavo. You get three of those. There's only 30 seconds left in the quarter. If you play all three of those possessions, if you get. Two, three rebounds. You get three 35 seconds. That's a minute and a half. So then wouldn't you, as a defender, not want a foul to give them another 35 seconds? Isn't that the exact objective of the game, Chavo? Yes, I'm just saying. It's just, if it's, I'm fathomed by it. It's, it's unfathomable for me to see this. Hey, why don't you tweet about it tonight? I'll tell you, yeah. Check Chavo's Twitter tonight for that <laughs> Don't be in, in depth forward <laughs> tweet about how it's. Don't be, don't it's, be not, it's not acceptable to get a full 35 seconds once you foul. Don't be, don't be throwing out anybody's Twitter handles out there. As Caden gets the steal, pushing up the court as Elijah. We're looking to go. Yes, sir, to David. Randy, back to Elijah. Give me one. They try to get that one to control it up top. Nice dribble handle from Paso. Oh, what are they gonna call? That's what are they gonna call there? A little bit of a shuffle in the feet. He tries to kick it up to Elijah. Look up, look up top. Yes, ooh. Uh, what do you call that? That's, I've seen my teammates dunk the, the ball seven times, so I'm gonna go try and only hit the bottom of the net. Damn. Maybe, maybe next year. As we look over to his dad. Do we get approval? His dad is shaking, and I don't know. I didn't tell him to do that. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, yeah, sometimes yeah. when you, you see your teammates dunk, you, <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you can jump a little higher. It's the adrenaline, huh? It's the adrenaline. At least he's able to complete a pair. And he will check out of the game. I want to say it's because to he tried to dunk it. Nah, they might talk to him right now. They're going to ask him about it. They're going to do how, what do you think? How do you feel? How do you feel? Yeah, he might... Might need a little bit of 
more springs in his David, in his shoes. Trey, give me one. Don't even try. Ooh, that that rim looks like it's going bending forward a little bit. Not gonna lie. To Ray. It's because he's these rims are old. But on a early. serious note, uh, we talked about this earlier um, in previous games is staying engaged in the game and getting better, not being reluctant or la uh, lazy on defense or offense. Try not to get sloppy. No, exactly. And I, that you have to try to tell your team that that's how you, that's how you're able to have more fun on offense. If you're able to execute on defense, you're able to run, leak out, and you're able to get those easy dunks and lobs, and you're able to get those steals. And once again, in, interior passing by the bigs, leading to wide open layups. You're able to see a check in by Michael right here. David just gonna stand like a tree. Randy putting on the burners. Dre skying. Oh, that should have been another poster. Yeah, he should have. He should have. Dre taking it easy. Giving him a little finger roll. As that will complete your first. Wow. Your first quarter right there. 31 to two is the score. Eight minutes is gonna go up in the second. The Knights lead by almost 30. 29 is the lead. We are gonna continue on with the second quarter in just a few minutes. Moment. As we are continuing on with the start of the second, as you're going to see Elijah Dre with the early steal leaking out. Dre, the easy too. Yeah, you might you might see some of those little touchy touchy plays as the lead continues to. Yeah, and that's one thing on. that we don't want to see as Knights is these silly fouls by the op opposing team may result in injury. So hopefully that doesn't get. Um, out of hand. We're able to see a turnover over there by Paso. Dre going to get a lot. Oh, can't get the lob off. Can't get the lob to Tunde. Paso making it. Can't get it to go. I'm sure that man carried Tunde. the ball 15 times that possession. Tunde. Tunde. Able to get the slam. Tunde with another windmill dunk. He's able to contest right there, but they're able to score. Paso, able to score right there, and the crowd goes to gives them a little cheer. Yeah, the Bearcats taking advantage of the gamble play by the Knights. Tunde in the sit side. Tunde just leaking in. My goodness, what are you gonna do? Tunde. Paso is able to get it inside, back out, guarded by Dre. Yeah, they're playing a little bit of a, a man or a zone. The Knights are playing a man. We'll switch everything. Ooh, almost loses his footing right there. Keeps it. Just can't get it off right there. Tunde just controlling the board of Luis. Luis looking for one. Oh, Dre! Dre! From Luis behind the back. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah, a little bit of a... With this move. A little bit of a and one mixtape type play by Luis. And, 
Fortunately, that was a good pass. Those are the type of players as a coach, if he completes the pass successfully, that's a good pass, but if he turns it over, it's a terrible pass, so. Honestly, yeah. Thankfully, that, praise, that was a successful pass by Luis. Praise to criticize. Elijah's gonna push the issue on defense. Paso gonna look to try to get back into this game. Is are gonna get a great foul call by the official? Get a, get a foul on number 11. That foul was on Luis. That's his second foul. Sorry, number two. Will looking to leak out. Look up to at least throw it up. Lower throw. Uh, you gotta look to throw it up, my guy. Three ball by Elijah. Hot, hot bang. That was for. That was for. Mr. Wood right there. For a boom. The three is green right by Elijah. Yes, sir. First one of the game for the Knights. Boom. Give me that. I think he's going to take it all the way. Throw it right back to him. No, you got to throw it right back to him. It's a nice, that's a nice play. But he was looking for it. He was looking for the lob. Elijah able to get ahead on the two-point score. The lead leaks out to 44 to 4. Oh my gosh! Throw it up! Throw it up! You see, that's what you do. Oh, uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta slam it though, Will. But that's what you do. Great, great look from Luis. Yeah, I don't know if Will has that in his game yet. Nah, he, yeah, he, he hasn't proven that. Maybe in practice. But he did. He did. He threw it like he was throwing it to Tunde. They have five minutes and four seconds to try on this sh smaller, smaller rim. Right. Nah, you gotta, you gotta attention to detail to your players. You know. That's to Tunde, that would have been boom. That would have been rim rock. All right, see, look at that. Zeus, where you throw it right back to the. There you go. Nice find. Nice find from Will. Leaking is Luis. On the dunk. What are we going to do? Everybody, Everybody's shell shocked. They don't, know what to, they don't know what to do across from the board. Uh, hopefully, someone is keeping track of all these dunks to update I hope. The, up I'm the, not. Can, count, the counter back at home. Somebody out. Second. There you go, Mitty. Can't get that one off. Tunde just controlled. Look at he, this is this is what's great. Look at nice Elijah. pass by Will. Three pop pop bang is the three from Elijah. That was another this, great decision by Will. Like you like I like I said before, this is like what's great like about like having like great players. Like you see like Tunde like he's able to leak out. What's he gonna do? Ooh 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 ooh! Come on. He almost had that one right there. No, no, no. Like, you see, like, you having all these great players on the team. It, Tunde doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter to him about getting the ball so much or being being ball dominant. He's able to kick it out to Will. He's able to get let him get his. Let Elijah get his. Yeah, he's a very patient and smart player. Everybody's getting touches because they're they're so giving on this team and they know that they're able they're all able to score at any time they want with the help of their teammates or by their by themselves so that's what, that's what's great about this team if they can continue to do that that'll only make them such such a greater team going on into the season as they continue on to playoffs hopefully a little step back can't get that one off nice rebound from Pasco 51 to 4 is your score. David looking to leak out. Will. Nice little, nice little finger roll. Finger roll. Over front of the rim. Over the front of the rim. Making it look pretty. Paso's looking to attack on the inside, trying to trying to make a little dent in the lead. Make make something happen as they're as they're just not able to score. Coach, coach might want to call timeout maybe. You know, maybe talk to him. Is he called a timeout? In this, in this game? Big Aaron Pugh checks in the game for Will. Pugh. Pugh, man. So we have the three, the three the giants. Three, the three Sasquatches out on the block right here. Pugh looking at. That's right. Great job by Pugh establishing that that block position, nope. forcing the uh, Bearcats player to push him in the back to try to get the ball. And that's exactly what they should do. They have the bigs, they have the size, they should try to take advantage. 100% now he gets rewarded by two free throws. Let's see if he can capitalize on both of these. Yes, sir. He's gonna try to make some noise, Pew. He's not shaking. Nice heart. Beautiful, you get, you get one more, sir. Good on the first. 
That Gets rewarded it. the second. They're going to walk him back to the line. Chaba, did you know that in a one-on-one, -on -one, if you make the first, you get the second one? You know what? It has never occurred to me. I'm just checking. But we learn every day. Hey! Sometimes I, I wonder. As we are controlled back on the top side with Paso. Paso still, still trying to look to score. They've been scoring this for a few minutes. Haven't, haven't scored, I think, since the, the start of the first, second quarter. Yeah, their first or second possession of the second quarter, yeah. So they're just looking to scratch right here. Just not able to even get in the, to the second or third levels. They look, they look pretty good in warm-ups. Some new subs for the Bearcats. Here with 2.16 left in the second quarter. David takes it out over to Randy. Bearcats still in the zone. See if the Knights can get a quality look. I mean, yeah, a zone. if they're going to play a zone, a zone only works when you have like a goal. And when you meet the goal zone, like the goal for the zone. That's either to have let make them make shots or that, that, that's pretty much it. Make them make shots. They're just allowing them to pretty much attack or kick out or do pretty much whatever they want. They're not allowing, they're just allowing them to attack in the inside. Yeah, and the Knights, uh, the challenge right now, I think, is having three big men in the in the game. Randy, come uh, on, give me one, Randy, give me one. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah. so throw over the rim. Yeah, I would. Okay. Sorry, Rocket. Nah. Sorry, Rocket. Maybe next game. But yeah, the challenge is, can these three big men guard perimeter offensive players? It's able to leak out right there. Caden with the offensive, defensive board. Sorry, you should see David rim running over to Pew Man. Pew Man sending see him with his back. Yes, sir, into Caden. Nice pass from David. And Caden ate some. David's like, come on, man. Buttered popcorn before the game as the ball slips out of his fingertips. Why did he drop the ball? Come on. They run a play inside over to Mike up top for the three. Boom. Green. Michael Thompson three. with no hesitation knocks down that triple. Doing a signature Clay Thompson, no dribble three. Catch and shoot pass a ray off over on the left side, controlled by Randy. They're gonna get a steal. They're gonna look to run. 56 seconds left in the quarter. They're gonna look to push. He's going to the inside. Passing out for the three, kick out. No. Stop at a dribble. Yes. Yes. On to the play. Able hey. to score. My goodness. And that, that, bucket, that bucket put some life in the cheering section here at Paso Bond. And it's reunited. The crowd is able to get a steal. As they're bringing it back up top there. The Knights are scrambling the Knights in this last 30 seconds. The Paso putting on the burners, putting on the pressure. The crowd getting back into it, six to 59. 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Looking to go inside, oh, on the crossover. Three, nice fake. And he said, nah, buddy, you can't, you can't carry those. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Couldn't carry a 20 pound weight. Continue to dribble in that ball. So the Knights are gonna get a last look at it, 20 seconds. Is Mott gonna call anything or are they gonna let, they're gonna let him play? No, I, think he, play I think he trusts his kids to get a to get a bucket. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, sir. Nice interior pass from Caden. High low pass nice, to David Vidor. Nice pass. Nice pass. It's David able to get the easy two. Slapping the glass. Slapping the ball. Caden controlling. It. That's the end of your first half. 61 to 6. So the score here is 61 to 6. We will go into halftime. They might be some. Halftime entertainment by the Paso Bearcat cheerleaders. Oh yeah, the Knights yeah. will go to the the locker room. She she kicked off everybody off the court right away. Discuss the game plan for the second half, and Paso will do the same. And we will return shortly.
All right, everybody, we are back. Bob Menry here. Just kidding, we're here back. We're here with the start of the second half. Don't know what they were talking to the coaches about, but we had a discussion at the top. About something. Something about time, maybe. Yeah, I think we are. they agreed that the clock would run the whole second half. We are going to see right now. This Paso starts with the first possession right here. Not able to get that three way off. Tunde control with the board over to, oh, thrown, thrown away by Dre. Bad pass. Paso, Paso going to look to become more aggressive offensively here. What are they going to call right here? What's he going to say? What happened? We got blood on the floor, everybody. Hold up. Blood on the jersey. That's, we are going to get a 30 So it will out. be Bearcats ball. We're going to get a quick sub. They will sub. get a sub for number 12 to get the blood removed for the jersey before he can return back. N to number 12's younger brother, 11, is going to come in. Oh, it's a backcourt violation. Terrible miss communication from the player. Miss just clueless on the play. Looking to push Luis. Elijah over to Will in the corner. Probably gonna look to Tunde. Oh. I don't know if he's looking to pass. Shot, pass. Nonetheless, it was a turnover. Gonna get a reach and foul by Luis back. It's a careless play right there. It's a lack of defense. Yeah, this is flat out being lazy by Luis. Not moving your feet. Just reaching for the ball. Just lack of footwork right there is the nice pick up the first personal foul of the half. Nice little dribble run right there, but just pick by Tunde. What are they gonna call? Nah. It's a little, it's a little. Yeah, so the Knights. A little careless play by Tunde. Are careless the first couple possessions that they possess the ball. Yeah, taking taking this first this first half lightly, and you don't you don't want to see that like either way. Whether you're down or up, like you don't want to see any lightly play being taken on any team. What are they gonna call right there? Nothing. Okay. Interesting. Dre. Sorry, Luis. To Tunde. Yes, sir. Windmill. Don't let me get some air conditioning going. There's another windmill dunk by Tunde. Slam jam. Tunde. It's the first score of the second half. Give me a, let me pin it on the backboard, right, don't I? That's right, carry it. Some more athletic plays by Tunde on defense. Eleven's gonna come out, 10's gonna come back in for Paso. We're gonna make some subs, see if, see if they can push the DSU on defense, trying to make a turnover on, on St. Joe's. As Dre's gonna control it on the offensive side. Dre doing two days. Just can't get it to go, but right back up there. Just finishing his own one. Yeah, two day getting an offensive rebound. Putting it back up. Wish the Knights would talk a little bit more on defense. Yeah, real quiet, real quiet in the gym. So they're able they, to get uh, that steal, but. They know what to do, but the one big piece that they're missing is the communication. Tunde able to just glide over and finish it on the left side of the rim. That's just, let your teammates know that you know where you're at. Let's them know where the help's coming from, what position they're in. It goes a long way is, is the talking on defense. That's a little bit of a lost skill. Jay with the sidestep kick, can't get it to go. No, yeah, and it, it just gets everybody more collectively involved. It's just it. You can get away with that against teams like this, I mean, but when you face, I mean, more skilled teams where they're more precise on their back cuts and they're doing um, back screens and really switching on offense there, it'll make it tricky for you to keep track of who's, who's on who on defense. Tune day, they're gonna count that as a lob? I think so. Looked like it was gonna go in anyway. It might have, but we got it. We got a few head turns. Tunde thankfully tipped that ball before the ball was above the cylinder. 
Yes, sir, catching it on the way down. They're gonna get that three, no, back up top. Can't get that one to go, leaking out as well. Look up, look up, look up. Gonna get the foul call right there. Nice take by Will. The defender never committed, so Will said, I will take it myself. And one thing the Bearcat player knew is Will was looking to lob, so he was face guarding Tunde, not allowing him to get a free run at the rim. First of the pair is good. So for the Bearcats? So it is a running clock. It has been a running clock. Yes. Yeah, it'll be a running clock the whole rest of the game. To my knowledge, it's usually only in the fourth quarter, but I think the refs and the Do the significance. coach, um, they all met and they agreed to run the clock. Will, give me one for a three. Green knee, no one can get that one to go. Tunde with a putback. Controlled by Tunde. David's gonna look to check in along with Caden, with Randy. Ooh, it's Tunde looking to run with it, can't. Get that three to go, no, controlled by Will, looking up top to a Tunde leaking out. Ooh, they just ran into each other. <laughs> nice little shovel pass back up top. Driving against the Knights defense, trying to throw it off him, saved. Controlled up top is Elijah. Smart play, smart play, keep it myself, smart play. Once again, it, the defender did not commit to the ball handler. Elijah smartly keeps that that ball and scores it by himself. 74 to six is your score, and Dray. Crowd's gonna get into it on that play. They're gonna try to get their get their team back into this game. So we're gonna see some steal, Ooh, some tipping of the balls. Dray not able to get it, Paso. Paso looking to, looking to get some life back into this game. We're trying to find something into this game to find good to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. So looking to go on top as the cheerleaders get into it. Yes, sir. We are in a ball game. They just lose it. Oh, back up top. Around in the corner, Tunde. He's not even letting them get it off. I was looking at he my said, phone, I missed that one. He said everybody but somebody is staying on the floor. And it looks like everybody but Elijah will check out. Because he will see David, Randy, and Caden in. Oh, nice, nice defensive play on Randy, just forcing the issue, causing the turnover. Oh my gosh. Yeah, good, good ball pressure for Randy. This guy face planted. As we wind down to 45 seconds here in the third quarter. 45 seconds for the Rocket. Into Caden. Nice little inside out touch pass for the three. Green Bean. Good ball movement for the Knights. Working the ball around the perimeter, going inside out. Getting a great shot for Elijah in the corner where he makes a lot of his threes on this year. Nice little, ooh, falling hard, number 15. A couple of hard falls for him. Maybe he just doesn't know how to land on his feet. He's smiling, he's having a good time. He's happy to be here. He gets a head nod from the coach. Good job, son. Looks like we're gonna get everybody off the floor. He's gonna get the spotlight. He should feel special. No, not you, not you. There you go. We're gonna get two All free throws. All eyes are on him with no clock, no time. He's gonna miss this first one, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Oh, no, don't be so, so rude. Sorry, man, I thought, I just felt it. It might be vice versa, you never know. Or he might, he might surprise us all. There you go. And the crowd likes it, points to the crowd. 77 to 10 is your score, end of the third. The refs are going to try to get this one going right away. It looks like it. Getting a little antsy. He might have some chicken cooking at the house. So Knights go 77 to 10. The lead has stretched out to an unreachable, an unreachable comeback for Paso. Looks like. 
as you're gonna see Mike, you're gonna see Randy, you're gonna see Caden, Will, and David for your last quarter at the start of the fourth. As Will's over on the top side. Over to David, yes sir, over there on top. Can't get that one to go. Control it on the top side, Paso. Gotta be careful, they've done a lot of freaking, a lot of back courts. Gotta be careful, as they get that three to go. Over on the, ooh, Mike, Mike. Easy there, Mike. Caden helps him up, I got you. Mike getting clobbered on that defensive rebound. All right. He's helped back up. Randy calling out the play. Let's let's run it again. He says. Over in a David, they're gonna look probably on the inside. Will. Oh. Dave. Caden with the offensive rebound. Over yes, a pass sir. To Fender. Fender. Fenda, yeah, there you go. Fenda. There you go. Getting a little happy with the words over there. Randy coming trolling on the on the top side Zero. with the rocket. Putting on the burners. Randy. Watch me run. He's able to get the easy two. Tasso's just I don't like to to ride out the rest of this game trying to find some some highlights David look and give me one one dunk oh nice block Randy's like I got it I got it David's like what he pushed me the foul on Paso push on the rebound so the ref still still being attentive to the calls in this game calling the fouls That's right, Will. Give me that. That's right. You see that? Uh oh, we're gonna see some blood on the floor. Uh oh. Looks like he got maybe a little elbowed to the chops. And we will hope to not make this personal. Nah, we're just playing. So we're gonna get a quick timeout, probably. 550 left in the quarter. Eight. 83-10 is your score. It's going to be a 73-point lead. It's the Knights expected in this game. What up? What do you? What do you look? What do you look to see in this last 550? 550 of the game for the Knights. Same thing that we've said all year when the Knights are up big is staying engaged. Uh, always a, a chance to get better. And for Passos, don't give up. I mean, try to. What do you think? Try to try to string the fundamentals together. <laughs> when, when you have a blow, you kind of just focus on one or two things. And if you can get better at those one or two two things, it's a small small win in a in a big battle. But at the end of the day, like right. I said, it, I mean, what do you think he told his teammates right there? What do you think he told them? Don't turn the ball over. <laughs> um, be strong with the ball and run, run the offense. Will, yes sir. Oh, can't get it on. Give me that one. Yes Quit sir. Quit giving up offensive rebounds. Will's getting his. Those we're getting, we're getting some head nods from the crowd. Those Will's were, getting his. Those would be things that I would be talking about in a game like this. I mean, I don't know. On the offensive side, I, you you would wish to see some maybe more play calls or maybe some different looks. But what can you what can you do against this tough defense against the Knights? Lengthy, David showing the length. Will guarding up on the top side of the right. Get that three. Three. That's right. Three B makes it scream for the three. Oh, yeah. We're going to get a nice block. We're going to get some reactions from the crowd right there. Yes, sir. Turnover. They like it. We like it right there. No, Ron. It's a change of possession. We will get a... A but jump ball. We're confused on the floor. As the refs acting like he can't hear. It'll be white ball as the arrow is pointing in their favor. Great officiating right there. Way to get the right call. And Randy's going to go guarding on the top side of the right. Kicking out to the left. He's going to look for another three. Watch. He's feeding off the crowd. Number two is a fan favorite. You can tell. 
Will's gonna kick over on the top. He might look for one. Look to David, back to Will. Little touch, right off his leg. Good call, official. Good call. Mr. Pew, man, gonna come in for David. Yeah, Pew back in. Gonna set up on the post. Yeah, right to Pew. Right, right in the game. To the baby jumper for Aaron Pugh. Right in the game, making an impact. It's a Pew man. Leaking down the middle. Easy dose. Randy guarding up on the top side. Kicking out to Will. Come on, Will. One more. One more. In his face. Ah. What you got to do is you got to right. You got to have him right on the either on the, on the right or the left side. You got to pick a side. Or you got to blow by him. Got a pick. I don't think Will's game is there yet for blow buys, Chavo. He'll get there. Able to get the first. Able to get the first. First of the pair. Well, that's when they, there you go. Attention, one thing to work on. Unable to hit Splits the second. A pair. Rock it with the offensive rebound. Nice little crossover. Gets Split rewarded three. for a three in the corner. Can't get it to go. Caden. Getting handsy with them. Michael hunting him down on the defensive side. Looks like Michael was licking his chops. He thought he was going to get a back tip, maybe a little a Ooh. steal. Ooh, number two for the three. Can't get that one to go. Kaden with the, with the football pass. Leaking out is Michael. Get the easy two. Michael, Michael. Aaron Pugh cleaning up. Pugh knows, it. Pugh knows what to do. Cleaning up the glass. Number two is just going to light it up. He's going to let it fly. Give me a dunk, Kaden. Can you dunk? Can you dunk? Number two taking out the rocket. What are we calling? There's a foul on number two for taking out Randy That's on right. that pass. I mean, that's what happens, man. Grabbing his ankle, maybe. They're gonna get. They're gonna get a standing ovation. They're gonna get some early check-ins. I guess they're they got some fan favorites out here. Got the goggles out here. I like it. I think number two's uh, night is over as he grabs his ankle. We need the athletic trainer quick. We need some ice. Caden looks at the top side for the three. For Kaden's, three. Kaden's not shy. Big fella with the boom. Green bean. Yes, sir. Where did this green bean come from, Chavo? Curious. You never see, you, never, you never play 2K? No, green, I don't play 2K. Green bean? No. Green bean make. Uh, you can't. No. You can leave the other reference out, but you know it's green bean. Look at that green. Yes, sir. Anybody, yeah, anybody want to run 2K? 100 bucks. Kane can't, can't get that one to go. Ooh, Will got away with that one. Nice leak out. Offensive uh, I don't foul. Like, I don't like that call. Bearcats defender took a charge on Will. They should have just let it play because, you know, there's only 40, 40 seconds. Come on. Just let it play. If anything, he was already on the on the left side of the shoulder, so he's passing. Gotta love that for place, Chavo. Gotta love that for place. Number 21 checks in the game. They're gonna look to get him a touch. Ten's not shy. Four <laughs> The Knights will just hold the ball and let the time run out. Oh, is there get the steal? They're looking to score. They're not gonna. They're not gonna be shy. Looking for oh, Randy, 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 Randy. No, As no, no. Back from his coach. Bart down by Wood. Yes, sir. The final score. 93 to, to 16. To 16. Well, the Knights David? will be back in action on. Saturday? I believe it's Saturday. Saturday for the Mission Prep Christmas Classic, a traditionally um, high-level competition at the Christmas Classic. So they will play on Saturday and continue to get better. And we thank you for tuning in to our voices. And, and that the concludes our broadcast for this evening against the Paso Robo Bobcats, or Bearcats. Good night, everybody.